these credit applications. Date of birth, not applicable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sex, five years ago Tuesday. Well, what do you need another credit card for anyway? Oh, I wanna get credit so I can buy some new outfits to impress Dr. Joyce Brothers. I mean, look at me, Val. I look like a cheap tart, and not in the good way. <laughs> I think under salary, you made a mistake. Well, that's because last time I put my real salary on an application, they sent me food stamps and a box of government cheese. <laughs> you know, I remember that. It had a surprisingly tangy aftertaste. <laughs> you know, maybe I shouldn't put 50 grand down. It sounds like I'm trying too hard. <sighs> yeah, 50's too much. Make it 49.99. That's how they sucked me in on the abdominizer. <laughs> oh, crap. I dusted through Rosie. I can't believe she's applying for another credit card. And I really shouldn't snoop. But maybe I'm a reference, in which case I have a right to know. <laughs> Where's age? Age, age, age. Oh, this must have been age. <laughs> Salary. <laughs> Sir, I demand a raise. No, as I am actually in the room, so you might want to rehearse this somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I am saying it to your face this time. I demand a salary increase, and I demand it now. Well, that certainly took a lot of backbone, I must say. You know, normally my answer would be no, but based on your bold approach, my answer is hell no! <laughs> oh, there you come barging in here like that, making demands. Can't you see I'm busy? Yes, I know how much effort goes into ordering an air-conditioned pit helmet from the sharper image. <laughs> What exactly brought on this sudden surge of greed, anyway? Well, I was upstairs looking through Miss... Ms. Magazine. <laughs> Did you know that, like many women in today's marketplace, I, too, am underpaid? <laughs> well, I happen to think you're very well paid for drinking my brandy, smoking my cigars, and giving conducted tours of the house when I'm not here saying it belongs to Jacqueline Onassis. <laughs> Bouvier before she was married. <laughs> Look, if it wasn't for me, you'd still have that summer job playing ukulele on some London sidewalk with your partner, Larry. Well, at least Larry treated me like a human. Well, of course he treated you like a human. He was a bloody monkey. <laughs> Happy here, perhaps it's time you made other arrangements. All right, then, you repressed tight wad. I quit. Oh, good, go and quit then. Go. By the way, hmm? there was a call from someone who wants to back your new show. Well, who was it? It was. <laughs> I just hear you quit? Hmm. How can you after all you two have been through together? Do you remember when Mr. Sheffield had that horrible contagious flu? You were the only one that he would let in his room. <laughs> yes, it's memories like that that will sustain me until I get to the curb outside. <laughs> Sheffield. You can't just let Niles go. You're making a big mistake. He's my best friend. Oh, God, do you smell delicious. <laughs> what is that? Are you wearing Aramis? You can forget it, Miss Fine. My mind is made up. Niles is nosy, greedy, surly, and he's gone. Now, uh... <clears throat> As lady of the house, I want you to start finding a replacement immediately. Oh, come on. You want me to replace my best lady of the house? <laughs> you know, that Niles could be surly from time to time. <laughs> What's going on? Niles quit. 